So today you join me with the Land Cruiser. It has a gearbox light that is on. This is a proper 4x4, so the first thing to um, the first thing in this vehicle to diagnose is is it just a sensor that's playing up or is the gearbox actually overheating? Um, it is almost certainly a sensor because sometimes it comes on um, from cold start. So it could be a dirty sensor, it could be dirty gear oil, it could be a number of things um, or another sensor that's playing up. We're, we'll see in a minute. I think the first thing to do, the sensor on this is in quite an easy place to get to. So the first thing we'll do is see which light's coming on for ourselves. Then we will pull out the sensor and just have a look and see what's going on. I'm just going to get the Land Cruiser up in the air. Um, the light isn't coming on at the moment, so I'm just going to give the wiring a little wiggle and uh, see if we can get the light to come back on. the connector for the sensor but the outside of this sensor has just crumbled away into oblivion so regardless of whether this sensor works or not or doesn't um, we shall be replacing it in any case because uh, this will keep the water out when it gets wet it will get all up in here and get corroded and short things out so we found our problem then it's just a sensor which is good news because these gearboxes are not cheap. So I'm just going to get the spanner out here so we can have a look at it. It is a 19 mil. Okay. This is the part number of the sensor for anybody that is interested. So you can see on here just how much of the end of the sensor is missing. Um, that extra pin, that was one of my little, part of my testing for this car, so the, the second pin looked like this but it had rotted away and when I went, tried to scrape it off to clean the contact it snapped clean off immediately. So this is actually a piece of old brake pipe um, that I hammered down and I drilled a little hole and pushed it down in there to see if the light would stay out and the light did stay out so that was a temporary fix and we drove it around like that for a couple of days because uh, this is my dad's Land Cruiser um, but you do need to put in a new one really I think it's unlikely in Ireland that it, the gearbox on this is ever going to overheat but it would be good to know if it did overheat um, so you can turn it off and let it cool down and such so we'll be fitting this new sensor another interesting thing is when this was broken and it was getting like a partial connection it also made it much more difficult to engage the gears inside the car and then once I put the new pin inside it um, it went into gear a lot easier so if you're having problems putting the car into gear you know just like between between shifting um, between like reverse and drive or um, this has like a, a 3-2 and then a low gear or a really low engine braking gear so it might be worth just having a little look just in case because you may have the same problem as this has i don't know if it's a common problem or not but in any case let's go and put in our nice new one so i have to get my hand up and over the exhaust and then we'll just get that started wind it in okay. just start to get a little bit tighter there when they're brand new it'll take a little bit to seal the seat down the o-ring ok 
Come on. It's a bit of an awkward space to get a spanner into. And if you ever need to take it off again, you'll be cursing if you turn it further than what you can easily get a spanner on. So just do little turns. Oh, that's tight there. So if I give it one more little. There we go. And now, plug her in. There we go. Hear that good click. You can actually see, I don't know about you, you can see there's a bit of movement on it. So I'm wondering if there's a design fault on this connector where it's not tight enough. And that's why the pin inside the sensor eventually corrodes out. Not very good, is it? But that's as far down as it goes. Can't do anything about that. In case you're wondering where the sensor is, by the way, it is on the other side of this pipe. So it's here. And I put my hand over the top of the exhaust pipe to get at it. There's actually quite a lot of room here, being a 4x4, which is nice. So that's it now. It's fitted, so we're just going to start it up and make sure everything is hunky-dory. So I've got the engine running. You can see the oil temp light, which comes on just here, is out, which is great. So I'm just going to put my foot down on the brake, and I'm just going to cycle it through the gears. Make sure we don't get any funny... See, low in here, for some reason, nothing happens with low. It does work, but it doesn't, show, it doesn't light up on the dash. And park. Lovely jubbly. So that's it then, so the sensor's fitted and everything here is nicely working. Brilliant. Another one fixed. So that's it from me today on this one. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're not. This one here was really, really simple, which is great. I love it when they're simple. Um, if you uh, have any problems with your gearbox, and it's not the same as what I've had here, then post a comment because you might be able to help someone out with it. And if you do attempt doing this work yourself, then let me know how you get on.